I have such an incredible productivity tip for you. I have heard for so many years that if you want to increase your productivity, then journal the night before or create your to-do list the night before. And then when you wake up the next morning, you hit the ground running. The other thing is that your brain kind of works on your goals. So actually this was a tip that I got from um, Damon John. So if you know who the, the creator of FUBU is, he actually owns many other um, clothing lines as well and other brands. Um, he wrote an, a fantastic book called The Power of Broke. He's also a shark on Shark Tank, if you like that show. And one of the tips that he gave was every single night before he goes to bed, he writes down his goals. He writes down the things that he's like obsessed with and thinking about because that way his subconscious mind will start to work out the details for him. So I've heard this for so many years, right? And I'm always like, ah, I just like to vegetate at the end of the night. I just like to get, you know, watch one or two episodes of something funny and mind numbing at the end of the night. If you've been following me at all, you know that I've been struggling a little bit with insomnia. I don't know what's going on. I, I, I think it's hormones, whatever. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. So I figured out, look, I don't feel like my mind is busy because that's what everybody keeps saying. Oh, your brain is spinning with information. No, it's like I don't feel like my brain is full of information. I just feel, I feel like it's physical, like my body just won't go to sleep. I thought to myself, maybe this journaling thing will help. So I decided, I started last night, I decided I'm gonna write out the things that I'm grateful for first. And then I'm gonna write out my goals, right? What I'm working on. And then after that, might as well make my to-do list for the next day, right? Because I'm already writing, I'm already there. And um, Shaleen Johnson actually does say that she, she kind of puts out, like creates her to-do list the night before. That way you can already start kind of thinking about it. So I decided to do this and I started last night. So here's, here's the result of what happened. I don't know if it helped me sleep. I will say that. I don't know if it helped me sleep. I will say that it was easier than it's been in this last month. Um, but I don't know if I can attribute it to that. But it was nice because the first thing I did was I wrote down the things that I'm really grateful for in my life. And um, that automatically put me, put like, it, it it put me in the tone of gratitude. It made me feel grateful for the things that I do have, even though I might have trouble going to sleep. At least, at least I know what I'm grateful for. So that was the first thing I did. Really put me in the positive frame of mind. And then I kind of like looked at my massive to-do list with, if you're anything like me, your to-do list probably grows by five items every day, right? And half the crap shouldn't even be on the list. <laughs> so I'm always like changing it and tweaking it and everything. So I was like, I need to just... Look at this list. I'm going to glance at it. I'm going to pick my top five. Like, what are my top five things that I need to focus on this month? So from that, I also glanced at my list and I go, okay, what are my top five things that I have to do tomorrow? Like the most important things that I need to do tomorrow. So I was able to pull those items from my to-do list as well. I took a snapshot of my tomorrow items, right? Because I took a picture of my journal. That way I had them with me today when I went to, when I sat down to work. My oldest, he goes to preschool just nine hours a week. Okay. <laughs> Three hours. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, that obviously doesn't include drive time, you know what I mean? I know that I have nine hours a week that I need to work, so that means when I sit down, I can't waste time crafting my to-do list at that time. Like, when I sit down, I need to be ready to work. So today, I, I feel super accomplished because I didn't sit down and my first item on the list wasn't figure out what I'm gonna do. And I hammered through one to four, on that list like boom, 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 so excited. That's my productivity tip for you. Figure out the things, like what are you working on right now? And I don't, I didn't look at like what are my annual goals. I kind of already know what those are. It's like what do I need to do this month in order to stay on top of my annual goals? So sometimes I feel like bite-sized pieces are a little bit more manageable. And then from that list, I created the daily list. So anyways, I hope that helps you, my friends. Have a great day. Bye-bye.